Well, hello everyone. Dog Walker Dave here, and I'm going to give you probably the most unconventional running shoe video that you've seen on the internet. Possibly. Eh, maybe not, but I'm going to give it a whirl. I'm testing the Saucony or Saucony Peregrine 11 out on my feet right now. This is the first run in them, and as you can see, I am on the trail. And it's wet, and there are lots of roots and rocks, stream crossings, etc. Now, rather than make this a 10, 12 minute video with all the stats and specs and whatnot, I'm just gonna tell you what I like about them. Since I've been running for over 35 years, I know what I like when I put them on my feet and take them out for my first run. I know I've done videos with over 400 kilometers on a pair of running shoes, etc. But I can tell you right now, out of the box, I will go over a, a few of the things that I really like about these shoes. Number one, the traction on the power track outsole is amazing. It is amazing. It is right up there with the Speed Cross 5 by Solomon, but the lug depth is not as severe. And because of the width of the outsole of the shoes, I find them to be a lot more stable. In addition, there's only a four mil offset between the rear and the forefoot of the shoe. And the stack height is not that great. I'll put the stats up on the screen for those that are interested, but they feel very stable running through lots of varying terrain. A few more things I like about them. The midsole is quite comfortable. Granted, they are a brand new pair of running shoes, so they should feel good out of the box. But I find, even with that, I find the midsole, the cushioning on them to be fantastic on conditions like you see behind me. They fit like a typical Saucony shoe. So if you come over from Nike or Solomon or any other running shoe, you'll find that these are a bit wider, especially in the forefoot. But for myself, even though I have a narrow foot, I like that extra room in the forefoot. I can see why a lot of people like the Peregrine series. The 10 had rave reviews and I will tell you right now that these Peregrine 11s are two very enthusiastic thumbs up from Dog Walker Dave. Now, where am I gonna use them? I will use them in any type of trail. If I can take them out on a trail like this where there was a little bit of rain earlier today and the roots are wet, the rocks are wet, it's muddy, I will take them on any dry buffed out trail. I'm not gonna run on the road with them at all. They're not designed for it. They have a rock plate. So there's a lot of protection on your foot from all the nasty crap that you'll run through. I know I can take them out on longer adventures out in the mountains and I will hike in them as well. They are that comfortable and they are that stable. If I was in a shorter trail race, so 10K, 15K, something like that. I pull out a pair of racing specific shoes, not necessarily these shoes, but it depends on the conditions. Thanks for watching my very unconventional shoe review out here on the trails of Tuscany. Have yourself a wonderful day. If you have a pair of the Peregrines 11, that was not intended to be a pun, but a pair of Peregrines. Please leave in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you think of them. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have yourself a great day. Peace.